Okay, brand new mom and dad, Aaron and Kira. Yeah. And the baby ever is 11 days old. And she's right there. Sleeping on grandma's lap. Yeah. <laughs> well, was it what you expected? Um, kind of, but it was like, a, like when she was born... When she first came out, I didn't expect it to happen as quickly as it did, so I wasn't, like, ready for to meet her right then. But she came out, and I, I think we were both in shock, like, mm -hmm. still, like, trying to really process quick. everything. Yeah, because like yeah, the nurses told me you could push up to four hours, but mm -hmm. it's like 19 minutes I always somewhere. pushed about mm -hmm. 20 minutes the most, so. Yeah, got those mm -hmm. birth and hips. From my mama. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a whole new experience to feel, you know, like this wet, limp body, like that was warm and soft, like on me, you know. And uh, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. <laughs> but I think we were just trying to process everything. I never cried. I mean, yeah. there was a lot going on. Yeah, it was intense. Mm -hmm. It was really fun, though. I think it was exciting. And, um, yeah, and then being in the hospital was okay, but the hospital bed wasn't that great. Terrible. <laughs> they kept Kira on a labor and delivery bed for yeah. the whole time, mm. even though she was there for a full night before they started yeah. doing anything and then there for a full day after. So yeah. she was on the labor and delivery bed the whole time and those. But luckily, they let us go home 10.30 the next night. Yeah, so you were actually on that labor and delivery bed for 48 hours. Mm-hmm. Because you got there. Yeah, I was Monday there night. for a while. Yeah, Monday, and then Tuesday. And, and then went home Wednesday. Wednesday. So 48 hours, mm -hmm. you were yeah. on the labor and delivery bed. Yeah, because we got there at 10.30 Monday. I gave birth at 10.30 Tuesday. We went home at 10.30 on Wednesday. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, yeah, almost exactly. Is the time. And the yeah. labor and delivery bed is not made for comfort. It's made for the labor and delivery. Babies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I was very grateful to come home. I think we stayed up till like 2 when we did finally get home. Uh -huh. And Getting I just settled. sat and nursed her and we got the bed ready and Felt figured out a system. Yeah, it's all pretty natural though, like none of it was like a big shock. Yeah. I think our baby's a lot easier yeah. than most people's babies. Our friends always said their babies would just cry about everything all the time. Yeah. Emma yeah. doesn't really cry too yeah. much. Maybe for 10 yeah. or 20 yeah. seconds sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> She's easy. She, I try to keep her calm and sleeping most of the time because... She feeds on Otherwise, demand. That yeah. helps. Yeah, she feeds whenever she wants. And she's held all the time, which is good. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm As it should be. Yeah. I lived in my mesh undies for the first 24 to 48 <laughs> hours, I guess, mm -hmm. when we got home. Because Kevin wasn't here. He had to do, like, a work trip or something. Mm hmm So what about internally? Internally, What's um, it's what it's sort of what I expected because I had grown up with a lot of younger siblings and I helped you, mm -hmm. my mom, uh, with those kids. But I mean, it's now the whole responsibility is on me. Like I can't just hand her off when she needs to eat or be mm -hmm. changed. And she had a band-aid I had a moment where she had a band-aid on her on her uh, heel from getting the test done and stuff and it was still on her like two days after she was brought home and I realized like oh she still has her band-aid on her foot like I'm the one that's responsible for removing that band-aid and making sure all of her basic needs are met you know mm -hmm. like she can't do anything it was an epiphany for moment. herself Yes, yeah, so it was almost like overwhelming at, for a moment, you know, thinking like, 
I'm responsible for this human yeah. for the rest of her life. Reality check. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a good, I felt good, you know. Mm -hmm. I felt kind of scared at first, and then I realized, like, oh, well, this is what I wanted, you know. And, uh, yeah, so we, she's kind of a miracle because we had a lot of losses before her. We had about four, well, we had three, and then one previously, but, um, yeah, so we had to figure out how to keep a child, and we finally did, and it's been a whole nine months, and now we finally have her. Yeah. Kira sometimes is still surprised that she doesn't have a belly anymore. <laughs> yeah, like today, we snuck out of the house real quick to go to Costa Vida, and I put my hand on my hip like this, mm -hmm. and instead of feeling like a belly here, I felt nothing. I was like... Just surprised for a at first. I was like, wait, I was pregnant. I thought I was pregnant, you know. Last time you were out with her. Yeah. So, it's kind of, I'm still adjusting to not being pregnant, but, um, you know, my body feels okay. Are you adjusting and to the intensity of motherhood, you know? In the early I think days? so. I mean, I, I have those regular hormones. You know, mm -hmm. going through, getting back to regular hormones, I think. So, I've cried briefly, like, twice, just from... Overwhelmed. Yeah, being, like, tired and, like, yeah. frustrated. Tired, yeah. Nights are hard. Yeah, nights are the hardest because I want to sleep, but she wants to eat. <laughs> yeah, so, you're learn. you know, like, you've been doing lately... Sleeping during the day when she sleeps mm -hmm. is a good way to... Yeah, um, that's helped a lot. I started doing yeah. that um, yeah. a few days ago, so... Yeah. Yeah, and um, just yeah. trying to get breastfeeding figured out has been hard on my mental <laughs> mm -hmm. state. I think I get frustrated. You've, been ha you've had a couple challenges with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you feel like it's getting better? Yeah, I think it is. I think like I'm getting used to the idea that my body is for her mm -hmm. now and it's not just me anymore. Yeah. So it's totally worth it, I guarantee. Because someday yeah. you'll be doing what I'm doing. Yeah. At I know. this very moment. <laughs> I know. You know. I was thinking about that. I'm like, well, I don't have to feed her forever but I also don't want that moment to go yeah there are times that I miss when you guys were all little and it was noisy and messy and chaotic <laughs> but I had kid energy around me all the time you know yeah it's a special energy yeah we hope to have kids every two years or so <laughs> but like you know when Faith was here she and I loved to talk we talk and talk and talk talk for hours we stayed up all night talking that one night mm -hmm. and then like a couple days later she and I went out to lunch she drove her car I mean you know mm -hmm. they grow up to be your friends you know yeah. so it's a lot of work but like when she's you know six months old and she just wants her mommy and as soon as you take her in your arms she stops crying and puts her head on your shoulder and is perfectly mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. it's like so rewarding she does that now sometimes. Yeah, she knows. Like, she'll just calm down. So, what about, like, you You were having trouble walking? Oh, yeah. When you were pregnant um, at the end? Yeah, they think, I think it's because I have scoliosis, so it was really hurting my Everything. pelvic bones and How's hips that now? and sciatic. So it's, how's... it's a lot better now. I got adjusted three days after I gave birth by my chiropractor. So you can walk them down the stairs like normal now, right? Yeah, I don't feel any pain in my pubic synthesis, which is like the front bone. Mm -hmm. But I still feel like my hips are still kind of wide. Yeah, I'll have to do that thing again tonight. Pressing. Yeah, pressing on... On the, the other side, too, oh. maybe. Yeah. Well, I can... When you press on... So I lay on my side and you press on my bone or whatever mm -hmm. on the side I can feel it all throughout my not the other side but like in the internal mm -hmm. and that side yeah. so it feels really good 
And uh, let's see if it feels as good if you're laying on the other side. Mm -hmm. So what were you gonna say? Oh, it's just it feels weird. Like all of a sudden, I don't have like that intense pain anymore. But I think it's because her head was so low on like my sciatic nerves and stuff, mm -hmm. and it was causing discomfort. And I couldn't walk, and yeah, I couldn't get out of bed. Oh, did you guys walk at all when you went for lunch? You went really uh, no. fast. Yeah. yeah, we just drove to Costa Vina and went and came Walking back. felt really good when you went to Walmart. Yeah, time. I need to walk on this treadmill behind us more mm -hmm. often because it feels good on my hips. Right after birth, though, my whole body felt like it could, like, I could bring my toes behind my head. Like, oh, it yeah. just felt, it felt like really, rubber. yeah, I felt really, really flexible. And stuff. I mean, I didn't try to stretch anything because. Oh, she's turning into the pillow. But yeah, it felt very, very weird. And my, and I felt like a, an accordion that had been stretched out, and it was like, you know, mm -hmm. didn't have like support in this area, and in my back, and in my upper back. Oh, have you worn your thing? Yeah, I wore it today for a little bit. And what we're morning. talking about is it's support band. It's a postpartum belly band. It comes in yeah. three bands. One goes around your belly, and then a heavy duty one goes on top of that, and then one goes around your hips, and it kind of helps it restore back to. So normal. you wore it today a little bit. A little. I wore it for only like twenty minutes. And you hadn't worn it in a long time, huh? Yeah, I haven't worn it for two or. I, Last time I wore it, it was, yeah, like Wednesday. Oh. So, yeah, I need good. to wear it more. So, Aaron, your turn. Mm -hmm. What do you, what, uh, what do you think? How, how, how was being a daddy of a little teeny She's really cute. Baby. Um, it's been really good so far. I just, I get excited thinking about it. Just her getting older. Yeah. Her little personality, being able to talk to her. When yeah. She can answer back. Play. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Play, go do things. And give daddy kisses. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go through the Oedipus phase when they're about six years old. All children want to marry the parent of the opposite gender. When they're about six years old. So yeah, you you'll be her crush. pretend hubby for a while there. Uh -huh. but, uh, <laughs> yeah. What about when Kira was in labor? What was that like? It was. And she it had was an very, epidural. Very short. The epidural yeah. helped her a lot. Yeah. yeah. She was in a ton of pain before the epidural, and then she got it, and that was still quite a few hours before she even gave birth. Mm -hmm. But after she got the epidural, everything was fine. She was just hanging out, waiting. So the yeah. pushing, you were just, you probably felt really good that the doctor and all the nurses were there, mm -hmm. and you know, so you're just being yeah. encouraging. And it was really, like I said, it was really quick. Did like you... From the time she started crowning yeah. to pushing the baby out. Or something. Yeah, that's did how all mine were. I don't know. Did yeah, you I could see, see down there? I could see her head yeah. before she came <laughs> out. Yeah, I was watching. I didn't even, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to who was watching what, where. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, you were a little busy. Yeah, you so, could see what about, head. um, you guys, how, like, each other, now that. You know what I mean? Like it's different. I mean, we can't like just cuddle whenever we want. <laughs> yeah. Because mm. usually there's a baby between us and the bed. Yeah, and like when we went when we went out to lunch for day today, we were only gone for maybe ten minutes, mm. maybe less. Mm -hmm. Like Kira's super worried. She's like, I hope the baby's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like she's fine. She just ate. The yeah. worst that'll happen is she might cry for a minute or two. Yeah. We're only gone for you know eight minutes. Yeah. But. That was really fast. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you probably are like are appreciating each other in new ways. Yeah. You know? I like seeing him like holding her. Like his whole like persona changes, I feel like. Whenever you need something, he jumps up and gets it. Oh, yeah. You know? It's out. nice. Yeah, even in the middle of the night when he's like dead asleep and I have to like wake him up. He always just hops right up and helps me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I'm glad. Uh, what is it like I, to be the husband? Of, I mean, you know, she just pushed out a human being. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, that part, yeah. It's amazing to think about. I think, you know, you really appreciate all that a mom has to do when you're sleeping next to a new mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she doesn't get much sleep at night. I mean, she's, like we talked about earlier, she's learning to sleep during the day. Yeah. yeah. But... You know, it's a hard adjustment, Aww. especially the first yeah. few weeks. Last mm-hmm. night went better yeah. when I came in. and Yeah, and she fell and asleep around like 2 and didn't wake up till 6, Yeah, mm-hmm. which was nice. The night before that, though, she was up all night yeah. until yeah. like 4 or 5. That was See, the night I, that I cried. I slept hard <laughs> that night because I, I had no idea all that was going on. Yeah. yeah. I've, but, had, yeah. I've had moments of... Yeah, like frustration or like feeling overwhelmed. Like you can't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but those are rare. Luckily, I have a lot of help. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to like worry about another kid on top of it or housework or cooking. You know. Yeah, the day will come when you'll want another one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not. But <laughs> yeah, I know. Ready for that. Cool. I'm excited to see her with siblings and teach her yeah. how to be an example. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. she'll be a good example, but parenting yeah. is an ongoing learning cuz I'm just le- you know, I mean, I'm still learning how to be a mom and mm-hmm. now a grandmother, but yeah. We and have if... friends that are they have a one and a half year old and they're pregnant with their second. Yeah. They have a little son and they're going to have a little girl. Mm-hmm. And today they wanted to hang out. But ever since I've had Ever, I'm like, I don't need to socialize. I don't want to yeah. socialize. <laughs> right. Like, just leave He's us alone at home. It. Yeah. I don't want to go out with anybody. So I'm just like, how do these people want to have friends? Yeah. And well, they've been our friends. They've got know. a year and a half old. So they're they're wanting a break, probably. from, Or did they want to bring them a year and a half old? I think they, they, bring, they bring him every time oh. we hang out. Yeah. But um But they're social. We're social too. Well, but now it's that... all really new, but you guys will get there. Yeah. yeah. And you'll, I think since she's there. been in a growth spurt and eating a lot, we didn't feel like you know. It's all really park. new. Yeah. Right now, yeah. You know. And you know, Kira's sleep time too is Yeah. Usually four to eight mm-hmm. PM. PM. <laughs> yeah. And uh that's when they wanted to hang out. Oh right, yeah. yeah. It'll it'll come. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm excited for her to be a little bigger so I can just carry her on my hip places, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and not yeah, have to worry she, about, oh, is she bundled enough or, like, are there nice. germs here? or Yeah. Yeah, I'm in that stage where I'm still, like, really cautious about, like, what touches her or, yeah. you know, if their hands are clean. When, when they can hold their head up and, and, like, sit up, which I think, I can't remember... I think it's closer to four months. Four or five months is when you can start really having her on the hip hiker thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited for it when makes she can it hold her head it, up. Yeah. You know. It makes it a little it, it easier. Just, yeah. Well, it just, it gets, the challenges change, you mm-hmm. know, with the ages, but. Um, yeah. But yeah. At so. first, when I first, when we first brought her home. I wanted to keep her with me, you know, but now I'm like, okay, whenever she's asleep, I'll hand her off. Yeah. Because I realize it hurts my back to, like, constantly yeah. hold her. It's a good break. Yeah. 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 It's just a good break for you to feel like you can go up and make popcorn or, you know, yeah. go to the bathroom. Shower. You don't constantly. Have yeah. your hands free. Yeah, because that's, then you'll get burnout. Yeah, I'm, I've been trying to, trying my best to avoid falling into... A depression or something yeah. because I read an article that said good ways to help not do that and it said you know sleeping like when the baby sleeps mm-hmm. is good That's the biggest one and yeah. uh, asking for help yeah. so you're not overwhelmed yeah. and keeping a good hygiene yeah <laughs> like keeping taking care yeah. of yourself I mean just showering can make a difference yeah I try to shower every day and you know maintain yeah. my hygiene yeah. as best as I can try to Try to have like you've been watching some movies and you know like yeah don't, like don't keep my regular routine almost yeah just to have more than just the baby Focusing as your hundred percent yeah. focus you know but have other things. Well, we're at nineteen minutes and fifty four seconds. 
Was there anything um, else? I think just it's so like blissful and like I'm still adjusting to the fact that we actually have a baby now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because it's what, what I've wanted for my whole life. Aaron wanted kids, but I don't know. Like, it's like a huge... It's almost like I, I made it into the NBA or something. <laughs> like, it's a very proud feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Big, I like big it. change. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm grateful for the medications and the, tech, you know, medical advances that they could help someone who is prone to miscarriages. Mm-hmm. Help, help you get full term. Yeah. And we found a way that works, so hopefully it'll work again. Yeah. So... Awesome. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Dreamy. And she's a smiley, smiley newborn. She smiles a lot. Mm -hmm. And we catch pictures of it sometimes. But, okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.